Halloween is known for its tricks and treats, but for parents of kids with allergies, it can be downright scary. News 11's Sarah Veronis has a way you can help make the holiday fun and safer for kids with allergies. This Halloween, you can say goodbye to orange and black. There's a teal takeover happening. The uh, Teal Pumpkin Project is part of FAIR, which is the Food Allergy Research Education Foundation. Since its launch last year, these painted pumpkins are making it safer for children who have allergies to trick or treat. And they let parents know their home is handing out allergy free options. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! It's meant to provide a, a safe and enjoyable Halloween for all kids. It's not meant to get rid of candy. In fact, we continue to give out candy. The Krista family knows all too well how frightening Halloween can be, and their worst fear, not containing candies. My sister has a nut allergy. I could get sick, but if I don't have the um, EpiPen, I will die. Terrifying. Six-year-old Lennon is allergic to peanuts and tree nuts, but she is not alone. One in 13 children in America have food allergies. It's very scary so you don't know what your child will bring home in a bag, what, what they might eat without reading the label first. People might like give out things that I can't like have. And so they are swapping the Snickers bars for stickers, lollipops, and erasers. Because it only takes a tiny little bit for some kids to have an allergic reaction. And as you head out to trick or treat, if you don't see a teal pumpkin, you might see this sign on others' doors. This also indicates an allergy free home. It's really about keeping the experience, the joy of trick or treating available to as many kids as possible. And the Christas are hoping they see more teal pumpkins in Halloween's to come. In Lancaster, Sarah Veronis, News 11.